Now, I'm Michael Galbin, the curator of the Seneca Art and Culture Center, and I want to talk a little bit about storytelling and stories. The real value in cultural stories is that it, it can share with us the way of thinking long ago. And in that, like when I say way of thinking, I mean how, did, how were relationships formed between people, people and, and other animal and beings and plants and the waters and the heavens, everything. And Seneca people's stories sometimes stretch back to the beginning of time. So they're, they're really valuable. It shares, when you hear those stories, it shares, with you, shares their worldview with you, with you their, their viewpoint. And, and that's really very important. Um, back in the early 19th century, a man named Jeremiah um, Curtin recorded all these Seneca stories long ago. And he talked to elders at that time who were living, some of them, in the middle of the 18th century, actually. And they told him these stories. He, he recorded them, put them in a volume. It was published. Uh, Another version was published uh, with the help of J.N.B. Hewitt, the famous uh, Haudenosaunee ethnologist. You can find it online. Look up under Internet Archive the uh, J.N.B. Hewitt and Curtin stories. You'll find that volume. And you can, when you read them, get a glimpse into what life was like for Haudenosaunee people hundreds of years ago. All right,